Every year we choose a theme that is associated with Jaya and caring for others whom we all act. Because she was a person who loved each and every human being who came in contact, who was lucky enough to be in communion with her. And her love and affection was more than just simple love and affection. She made every effort to, do, to draw out the best of every child or every teacher. And she knew each one very personally in the school. And we sort of wanted each child who was participating today to bring out what caring for others deeply meant to them. And that is why we have taken that as the theme. But before I proceed further, I would like to invite a warm round of applause for the 22 schools who have participated. While I read out the names, please give them a big round of applause. Mom High School for Girls, Mansur Habibullah Memorial School, Belkin International School, sorry, Belkin National School, Narmada High School, St. Teresa's Secondary School, Mahadevi Billa, Shishu Bihar, Greta House, Milton Law, Sri Aurobindo Institute of Education, G.D. Bella Center for Education, The Martinian for Girls, Calcutta Public School, Kalikapur, St. Joseph of Mary School, Vivekananda Mission School, Lakshmi Bhatt Singhani Academy, Sri Sri Academy, The Heritage School, APJ School, Park Street, Shushila Bella Girls School, Balagan Shikashwadon, Akshar School, DPS Mega City, Rajahat, and the host school, Pujapas. We have with us our chief guest, Mr. Devabrata Chakrabut. Next, we have as our guest of honor, Mrs. Shima Ghosh Bhattacharya, ma'am. Our second guest of honor is Mr. Autonu Bhattacharya. Please give a big round of applause sir. MBA, MBA, first class in printmaking, 1990 and 1992 from Ravindra Bharati University. Participated in several international printmaking shows like Migration and Empathy International Art Exhibition in Turkey, 2017. Multiple Encounters, second edition. Into US International Print Exhibition organized by Lalit Kala Academy, New Delhi, in 2012. Print Exchange, Brownson Art Gallery, in New York, USA, in 2009. 11th International Exhibition of Small Graphic Forms, Poland and Lodz, in 2002. 5th Bharat Bhavan International Bi Biannual of Print Art, Bhopal, in 2001, to name a few. And he has won innumerable awards, uh, has had a very, very rich experience in art, and has been, uh, our distinguished bench has been coming to us and has have been very closely associated with our school, is very dear to us actually. So thank you everybody for being here with us. Now I proceed to the program, but before we go on, because Joya Ma'am was somebody who was so accomplished, like I had said, I think, that uh, she was a renowned singer, she was a sitarist, she was um, good almost, excellent at everything that she touched. And so we would like to organize for you, we have organized for you and you're here uh, to watch it, Little Girls Dance For You. There's a, there is a creative dance recital, in fact, it is, and hopefully you will enjoy it. So after that, we will have the prize distribution program. So just sit back and enjoy the little ones. Regale you. <laughs>
to invite our adjudicators to please address the audience. <laughs> জয়াদির জন্মদিনে আজকে তিরাশি তম জন্মদিনের অনুষ্ঠান জয়াদি ফুল ভালোবাসছেন ছবি ভালোবাসছেন সঙ্গীত ভালোবাসছেন আর জয়াদি ছোটদেরও ভালোবাসছেন সব কিছু আজকে সব কিছু সমাহার জয়াদির এই জন্মদিনে ছোটরা ছবি আঁকে এবং তাদের মনের গহনে অনেক কিছু থাকে এবং সেই ছবির গতিময়তা এবং সেই ছবির যে সরলতা সেটা আমাদের মতো প্রশিক্ষিত শিল্পীদেরও নেই ছোটবেলায় আমরা হাতের লেখা কাগজ করতাম এবং ছবি আঁকতাম তখন যখন আমি তোমাদের থেকেও আরও ছোট তখন সেই সময় একজন বিখ্যাত লেখক ধীরেন্দ্রলাল ধরকে বলেছিলাম আমাদের জন্যে একটা ভূমিকা লিখে দিন উনি যে ভূমিকা লিখে দিয়েছিলেন আমার আট দশ বছর বয়সের সেই স্মৃতি এখনো আমার মনে আছে উনি লিখেছিলেন হাতের লেখা কাগজ করা ভালো টিকিয়ে যদি রাখতে পারো তাই উৎসাহ তো কমবে পদে পদে বয়স বাড়ে মনও যে বদলায় এই যে ছবি আঁকার যে প্রবহমানতা ছোটবেলা থেকে তোমাদের মধ্যে রয়েছে কেউ হয়তো শিল্পী হবে না কিন্তু এই ছবি আঁকার মধ্যে দিয়ে তোমরা একজন সত্যিকারের মানুষ হয়ে উঠবে জয়দিকে প্রণাম জানিয়ে আমার এই বক্তব্যের ইতি টানার নমস্কার আমাদের শ্রী দেবতী চক্রবর্তী যা বললেন সেটাই মূল কথা বাচ্চারা ছবি আঁকে যখন তখন তাদের মনের যে জগৎ তা দিয়ে ছবিটা আঁকে এবং সেখানে কিন্তু কোনো বড় হয়ে যাওয়ার যে জায়গাগুলো তৈরি হয় আমাদের বড় হয়ে যাওয়ার পরে এটা মানতে হবে ওটা মানতে হবে এটা করতে হবে সেই ধরনের কোনো বাধা নিষেধ বাচ্চাদের মধ্যে থাকে না যার ফলে মনে আনন্দে ছবিটা আঁকে আর ওদের যেটা এক্সপ্রেশন তার চেয়ে বেশি কিছু বলার আর থাকে না সুতরাং আমি চাইবো যে বাচ্চারা যেভাবে ছবি আঁকছে মনে আনন্দে সেভাবেই এঁকে যাবে আরও বেশি করে ছবি দেখবে ছবি ভালোবাসবে আর মনের আনন্দেই ছবিটা আঁকবে কোনো কিছু দেখে নয় মন থেকে ধন্যবাদ নমস্কার প্রত্যেক বছরের মতো আমি এবারেও এখানে নিমন্ত্রিত হয়েছি জয়জিকের জন্য অ্যান্ড টু অল অফ ইউ আর জয়ামের জন্মদিনে এই অনুষ্ঠানটা করা হয় যেটা একটা খুব বড় একটা ডিউটি বলে মনে করি স্কুলের পক্ষে তো ইটস গ্রেট এটা খুব ভালো একটা জিনিস আর এবার আমি যা ছবি দেখলাম বেশিরভাগই অত্যন্ত ভালো কাজ মানে এত ভালো ছবি আমি রিসেন্টলি কয়েক বছর মধ্যে হয়তো দেখিনি মানে অসম্ভব ভালো ছবি এঁকেছে তোমরা সবাই সমস্ত স্কুলের স্টুডেন্টসে বলছি এইভাবে এগিয়ে যাও ইটস এ গুড জব এটা ভীষণ ভালো লেগেছে আমি কোন কোন ছবি সেটা কোন ছবি মানে সিলেক্ট করে বুঝতে পারছি মানে এত ভালো ছবি জমা পড়েছে Chinmoy Mukherjee of Class 3, Baligon Sheikh Khashoggi. Okay. The second prize of Group A, which is going to Snehal Das, Class 3, The Future Foundation School. Okay. And the first prize going to Sanvi Atul Sharma of Modern High School for Girls, Class 3. Class. Going to Group B now and inviting Mr. Otunu Bhattacharya to please give away the third prize. Uh, Sritish Haldar of Class 6, Welkin National School and Dia Doctor, Class 6 of the Future Foundation School. Being the host school, we give the trophy to Sritish Haldar. Dia, of course you will get your trophy, but a little later. Second prize, Ruprekha Satar of Class 6, Delhi Public School, Nova City. First prize, Kinjal Daga of Class 5, Akshar. Kinjal. Now we move on to Group C, this is for the older children and inviting Mrs. Seema Ghosh Bhattacharya once again to give away the third prize, Devaruti Ghosh, Sri Aurobindo Institute of Education. The second prize which goes to Marian Gomes of Loretta House. The first prize which goes to Swastika Ray, Class 8, St. Teresa's Secondary School. Hello, uh, good afternoon 
and congratulations to not just the prize winners, but all the participants in this morning's uh, lovely inter-school painting competition. I'm very heartened to note that there are 22 participating schools and 125 participants in all, and a broad range of age categories, so that's really nice. Young children of class three and much older children, it really feels very nice. And then my warm note of gratitude to our chief guest who makes it possible every year to come and, uh, you know, encourage all of you. He's been a great friend of my mother, uh, Srimadhi Jayamitar, and a great, uh, you know, somebody who cares for Gallery La Mer, the gallery she founded, and of course, you know, was along with her in the process of her, you know, her life's quest and whatever. And our true two guests of honor also, a warm note of thanks and gratitude for gracing the occasion, judging the events, and, you know, staying back to give away the prizes. Now, you know, I think it wouldn't be out of place to say something about the person uh, whom we are honoring today, whom we are remembering today on, this, on the occasion of the Interschool Painting Competition. And this is, of course, Mrs. Joya Mitter, founder principal of um, the Future Foundation School, and more importantly, the secretary of the Rubindo Institute of Culture, somebody who worked tirelessly in her life, uh, as an emblem of kindness, compassion, grace, whatever else you call it. But by disposition, she was a painter. She was an artist. I think a painter would be a s too small a description. She was a musician, she was a painter, she was a singer. Uh, but I think if I would say one trait which stood out among the three, if you know her aptitude was in question, she did all three of them marvelously. She was a gold medalist in singing, a, second prize holder in the intercollegiate music competition. But I think her aptitude, her interest lay in painting and art. And um, I'll just say one thing to exemplify that. Today is not a long day, but I remember I used to work in the Netherlands. And I'm talking about 1986, and she was visiting me. And she was there for, I think, two weeks. She was a very impatient person, somebody who kept busy all day. She didn't have the good habit of sitting down for five minutes. So let me say that. Now when she arrived there, of course, there wasn't much to do. I would go out to work in the morning, come back in the evening, and I could take her out in the evenings and on weekends. But during the day, within three days, she started feeling bored. So then I asked her, what would you like to do? So that evening we went out, we bought easel, color, paint, and then she started painting. And I think in a gap of 10 days, she had painted one church steeple, she had painted the neighborhood, she had painted, and then we went out on a weekend to a fishing village, the fishing village and boats. So three paintings done, three oil paintings done in a gap of 11 days, and she left it behind to adorn the walls of my flat, which I later brought back to me when I came back to India. So this is somebody who, for whom painting was a first love. If she didn't know what else to do, she would paint. So I would imagine that whether you become a painter by profession or not, painting is a way of life, to express your emotions, to express what you feel, and I guess looking at her, and I did a little bit of painting as a kid. If you paint, you are never lonely. I think I'll stop there because this is not something I'm qualified to speak on. But um, it's a great thing. And the other thing which I, um, I saw from her was by temperament, she was an architect and an artist and an engineer. So all her life, she kept on building, constructing, demolishing, and building again. So that sense of painting, that sense of art, she applied to her architecture, her design, and her engineering. In a place called Modhongram, which many of you are, might be familiar with, she had a small cottage, she built a cottage which resembled 
a mud cottage which had thatched roof. And we kept the thatched roof going till a couple of years ago when because we were worried about, you know, because the neighborhood is full of apartment buildings now, apartment complexes, so if somebody would throw a cigarette butt, the whole thatch would catch fire, the house would be destroyed, so we had to replace it. Of course, we replaced it with bamboo-looking tiles. They're not bamboos, they're tiles, but they have the feeling of bamboo, but still. What I'm trying to say, to think of a modern building with a thatched roof and a tree kind of branches supporting it, and she did it in 1960. So what I'm trying to tell you is she didn't just paint with, you know, like you painted this morning. For her, it was a way of life. She also learned how to, as Sri Deva Brodha Chakravati shared with you, she learned the Wafukai school of Ikebana. She painted, as she did floral decorations in the Japanese style, much before Japanese Ikebana became very popular in our country. So, in any, in, in other words, if you know how to paint, if you love how to paint, and if you're an artist by disposition, then you can do so many things. But what I stopped short and I should have said is, if you're an architect, if you're a designer, if you're an engineer, then too the sense of drawing becomes very important. The sense of proportion, the sense of geometry, the sense of being able to conceive something and put it down on paper. This day I'm missing somebody, and uh, my mother's very close confidant and associate, the treasurer of the European Institute of Culture, registrar of this Future Foundation School, Sri Shamal Mukherjee, just passed away, not even a month ago, in, uh, on 7th of January. And Shamal Kaka was apt to say something, that engineers don't speak, they draw. So I think I've said enough on the subject of painting, drawing, I encourage all of you to keep doing it and keep it with you all your life. Thank you so much.